This is Mato. In this video I will show you a game between Roman Djindihashvili and Kalanda Zichvili. This game was played in Georgia in 1967. And what tournament was that? Well, the true reason for these two guys to get together and to play chess was that one day someone would try to comment on their game and to try to pronounce their names and would break their tongue. Just kidding. No, I am not. Here I am back after I had a plaster removed from my tongue. Just kidding. Roman Jinji Hashvili had white pieces and he started with e4. Kalanda Zichvili played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. Bishop to c4. Is it going to be the Italian opening? Definitely maybe. Knight to f6 and now d4. The Scotch game. E takes on d4. Why to move? How will you continue? Roman Jindjikash really played e5. If knight takes on d4, then black may take on e4, and after castling d5, back to our game. So, Roman Jindjikash really played the sharpest move. e5. And now, the best answer. And that is d5, bishop to b5, knight to e4, knight takes on d4, bishop to c5 attacking the knight, Jinji Hashvili castled kingside. Let's take it back. How about knight takes on c6? What will happen then? Then bishop takes on f2 check. And after king to f1, queen to h4. And this position was not to Jinji Hashvili's liking. Back to our game. So, Jinji Hashvili castled king's side. King's safety first. Bishop to d7 on pinning, intending knight takes knight on d4. Bishop takes on c6, pawn takes bishop. Bishop to e3, and Kalanda Zichvili castled the king's side too. Knight to d2, knight takes on d2, queen takes knight on d2. Queen to e7, attacking the pawn on e5. How to defend the pawn? What would you do? Attack is the best defense. Knight to b3, attacking the bishop on c5. Bishop to b6. And black would welcome if bishop takes bishop on b6. If bishop takes on b6, then pawn takes bishop, improving black's pawn structure. Back to our game. Roman Jinjihashvili played queen to c3. f6, f4. f takes on e5, f takes on e5. Rook from f to e8 is pawn. On e5 going to die. How to defend the pawn? Jinji has really used his creative imagination to come up with a brilliant variation. Starting with knight to c5. Let's take it back. If bishop to c5, then queen to g5, probably. Back to our game. Roman played knight to c5. Did Roman miscalculate something? Or maybe he set a trap? The game continued. Queen takes on e5. Hoping for this variation. Knight takes on d7. Then bishop takes on e3 check. After king to h1. Queen takes on c3. Pawn takes queen. Rook from a to d8. And black is winning. Back to our game. But Jinji has really didn't play knight takes on d7. He played a better move. Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this awesome move? Rook to f8 check. Kalanda it really resigned. If king takes rook, the knight takes on d7 check, winning the queen. And if 
Rook takes rook. Then queen takes queen. What a brilliant combination. What do you think of this game? Thank you for watching and bye for now.